Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a fun puzzle I saw online. You have a grid of equations, and you need to fill in the four boxes so that all of the equations are true. Puzzles like this are often shared with sayings like only 1% can solve it, or if you can solve it, then you are a genius. So, can you figure it out? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Let's work through this puzzle step by step. Let's label each of the boxes with a variable. Let's say the boxes are A, B, C, and D. Let's now set up a system of equations. This will be much more systematic than trying to guess and check. So one equation is the first line, which reads a multiplied by b is equal to 15. Let's go to the first vertical line, and we have the equation a plus c is equal to 3. In the second vertical equation, we have b plus d is equal to 12. Finally, the second horizontal equation is c minus d is equal to 5. We have now transformed this visual puzzle into a system of four equations in four variables. Let's just focus on these four equations. We will systematically solve for each variable. So how do we get started? When I examine a system of equations, I try to identify any variable that I can easily eliminate. So looking at the third and fourth equations, we have a plus d and a minus d. So if we add up these equations, we will eliminate the d variable. So let's take the third equation and the fourth equation, and let's just add them together. So doing this will eliminate the d variable, and then we have b plus c is equal to 17. So we've eliminated one variable. Let's go even further. Let's now try to eliminate the variable c. So we have b plus c is equal to 17. Let's take the c from the second equation and eliminate that with the c from this last equation. So we have a plus c in both equations. We'll need to subtract one equation from the other. So let's take a plus c is equal to 3 and subtract the entire equation b plus c is equal to 17. Doing this will eliminate the c variable and the resulting equation is a minus b is equal to minus 14. So we have a minus b is equal to minus 14. We can solve this for the variable a. Add b to both sides to get a is equal to b minus 14. Now, the very first equation we have is a times b is equal to 15. So let's substitute for a in this equation. We have a multiplied by b is equal to 15, which means b minus 14, the quantity, multiplied by b is equal to 15. We now have a single equation in just one variable. Let's focus on this equation. If we distribute the b, we have b squared minus 14b is equal to 15, and then we can subtract 15 from both sides of the equation, so we have the quadratic equation, b squared minus 14b minus 15 is equal to zero. In order to solve this, let's first try to see if we can conveniently factor it. So let's look at 15. We want two of its factors, which will multiply to be 15, and the difference in the factors needs to be 14. So one possibility is three times five is equal to 15, but the difference of the factors will not be equal to 14. So we can't factor it with the factors of 3 and 5. Let's take a look at other factors. We have 15 multiplied by 1 is equal to 15, and 1 minus 15 is equal to minus 14. Bingo! So we can factor this equation as b minus 15 multiplied by b plus 1 is equal to 0. So we get two possibilities from b minus 15 we get that b will be equal to 15, and from the other factor, we would get that b is equal to minus 1. So this
puzzle will have two different ways to solve it. Now let's go through all the other variables. We're going to have to consider two cases. So one case will be b is equal to 15, and the other case is b is equal to minus 1. So from the first equation, a times b is equal to 15. If b is equal to 15, then a is equal to 1. If b is equal to minus 1, then a will need to be equal to minus 15. Let's look at a plus c is equal to 3. If a is equal to 1, then c will be equal to 2. And if a is equal to minus 15, then c will be equal to 18. Finally, we have c minus d is equal to 5. If c is equal to 2, then d is equal to minus 3. And if c is equal to 18, then d is equal to 13. So these are the two solution sets. Let's now just substitute it back into the original puzzle and verify that we do in fact have correct solutions. So we have our grid, and let's look at one possibility. So we just put these numbers in, and we can see we do in fact have a solution. a is equal to 1, b is equal to 15, c is equal to 2, and d is equal to minus 3 is a solution. But we also have another possibility. We can say that a is equal to minus 15, b is equal to minus 1, c is equal to 18, and d is equal to 13. So the correct answer is that this puzzle has two different solutions, and these are the answers. What an incredible problem. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.